so we are so excited. So, you know, we just had an amazing birthday vlog here. Yep. And now we're coming to just hang out and chill. And in case you guys didn't know, tomorrow is actually National Comic Book Day. So for all of you out there who enjoy comics as much as we do, nerd stuff, you know we're gonna come here and see what the comic store has to offer. Stay tuned, guys. We hope you enjoy this vlog. So we're starting off today's vlog, guys, at Islands of Adventure. Yep. I mean, we did start off in Islands of Adventure a couple of days ago, but obviously this is where the comic book store is. So that's where we're heading. Yes. All right, guys, we made it. And as you can see, the adventure begins. Yes. I have to say, I feel like a real pirate here today. I should bring my hat from Disney World. That is for the Jack Sparrow hat and wear it here yeah, because <laughs> it is most befitting at Universal Islands of Adventure. Very true, very true. Sun is high in the sky. All right, guys, as you can see, we are heading to over where there are the comic book lovers. Here we have the whole coaster and look, we're here to launch. Oh my God, that is insane. Wow. As you guys can see, probably one of the most thrilling rides here. But we're here to check out some comics. Yep, because today is comic book day. Well, today when you guys are watching it, May 7th is comic book day. Yes. We're filming this on May 6th. Stanley Boulevard. Got a Spider-Man merch. Spider Gwen. This is actually my nephew's favorite superhero, is Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess so. Soon. We'll be getting on real soon. Do you have someone always taking your mug at work? <laughs> Maybe you should stop here and fix the problem. Get your name on a mug. <laughs> so speaking of comic books what did you guys think of dr strange we seen it last night and we'll probably end up doing a full uh movie review on it but uh yeah i'll just say i was pretty disappointed i won't have any spoilers in this vlog because i don't want to uh, spoil anybody abruptly but yeah, I was pretty disappointed overall. Not as good as the first one, by any means. No. Lots of cool merch in here. <gasps> the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice. I always find like comic book covers are, especially the old school ones, yeah. have such amazing color. Yeah, what do you do? There's Dr. Strange right there. You can put that whole thing. Oh, yes, I see. This is a pretty cool figure, actually. It is. I love the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. Yes. He's like, I'm the only one. I was like, made for this. <laughs> $675. Whoa. <laughs> you cool. gotta really like it. I want some beef. Punisher. Yeah. He also has a ride. So just so you guys know, they do seem to have a Jeremy Renner autographed copy or a photo for $600. Just in case you were in the market. 
guys. I'm not a fan of Moon Knight. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, just can't get into that. No. This is very cool. Marvel Lounge Fly. Avengers, uh, kind of like a tote or a satchel, excuse me. It's a satchel style bag. So guys, they do have some pretty cool authentic replicas in here. And some of them are actually signed by the cast from the Avengers. So here is a signed autograph uh, copy for the Infinity Gauntlet with Josh Brolin who actually played Thanos. So that's pretty significant. I used to love collecting pop vinyls but they do seem to have the gingerbread edition of Scarlet Witch. Yeah. That is so funny. <laughs> Pretty cool. And they also have Hulk, Thor, uh, Captain Marvel, US Agent, Captain America, from Falcon and a Winter Soldier, and Punisher, War Machine. Oops. Here we have Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Lost in the Spider-Verse. That's pretty cool. I might have to pick this up. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What if Miles Morales became Wolverine? I don't know. What do you guys think? Seems pretty interesting. It does. Thank you. So we just actually picked up some comic books, guys. And the staff is very friendly here. Guys, check out this art. A lot of it is autographed from the cast of some of your favorite movies. So definitely be sure to come in and check out comics here in Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure. Yeah. Here are the Avengers, at least some of them. You have Captain America, Thor, Iron Man. Very cool. There is Storm. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys wouldn't believe it. Captain America just stopped here. He's saying hi to the children. Yeah, right outside this door. Right outside this door, out of the diner. Be sure to catch up on your latest edition of the Daily Bugle. Yeah, the doctor is in. And Spider-Man Spider takes them out. <laughs> in case you guys were wondering, these are the comics we picked up. Here, I got X-Men Red with Storm on the cover. And then Joe picked up Miles Morales Spider-Man Lost in the Spider-Verse. And just because, you know, we take our comics seriously, you can buy the protective covers for 25 cents, which is exactly what we did. Looks like there is Rogue and Storm right now. I gotta say, the music here is bitching. It is. <laughs> yeah. I love how they stay true to the colors for comics and put in this hyper neon color yeah, with the like kind of art deco-ish style writing. Very cool. Yes, it is. Remember him recently? He was in Hawkeye. For all of you who were marking out yesterday in the theater. Wolverine! I love this area. Me too. It's like so exciting. It is. It is. It's just very underrated. You never hear anything about it. Oh no, you don't. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. On our way to Spider-Man. Yeah, some people say this is better than the one in Disneyland. Yeah, actually when we were here on my birthday, a cast member said that this one is actually better than the one in Disneyland. So I can't wait to check it out. Me neither. The very wonky elevator. Announcing that you are for many years, uses H2O against us. 
Talk about a day in the office. Dr. Octopus, criminal genius Dr. Otto Octavius, his artificial limbs performed delicate atomic experiments and an explosion fused them to his flesh, forever scarring his body and mind. Don't play with me, the phones are ringing off the hook to report Spider Man. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, beautiful. No fresh coffee, no fresh donuts. They're looking a little stale. There's some donuts over there. They don't look too good. Yeah, they're pretty stale. I know. We'll go to Boo Dude. We'll go to Boo Dude. That's <laughs> This is like everyone's break room. Oh god, this reminds me of my substantive law class. Ugh. You know, it's always someone like that at work, right? Someone who just has cookies and cakes and donuts stuffed in their drawers. You hate sitting next to them because it always stinks. <laughs> oh, wow. An award of excellence. J. Jonah Jameson. I don't know about that. Yeah, me either. Yeah, right? He pretty much lies and creates stories. Fraud. <laughs> Being careful. 
give up your day job. Say cheese. <laughs> See you later. Congratulations, you're here. So we just got off Spider-Man and it was awesome. Amazing, yes, right? it was the amazing Spider-Man. Oh my god, <laughs> I felt like that ride again. Yeah. Universal is ahead because to me Ratatouille is like a knockoff version of that, but not nearly as good. I could see that. Yep, I agree. I agree 100 percent This is better than Ratatouille. You just feel like you're more you you know part of the story a little bit more with this I agree. ride. Yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah, no pun intended, <laughs> No right? pun intended, right? <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> All right, guys, as you guys can see, we are heading out of Universal Orlando. We had another amazing day here today. Yeah. And um, yeah, the park closes at 6 p.m., both Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios, Florida. So yeah, we're heading out. As you guys can see, it's a lot of teenagers coming in. I'm not sure what the event is today, but yeah, so we're heading out. Another great day here at Universal Studios. Yeah. Part of our world, 71, has been taped in front of a live crowd in Universal Studios, Florida.